It's whatever she said It's whatever she said It got stuck in my Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and as y'all can tell by the bow on my head and of course the thumbnail that this is a makeup video. So yeah, I went shopping and of course y'all know I have an addiction. Now the makeup is trying to catch up with the wigs, but that's okay. I end up getting these two palettes. Well, the sets anyway, Juvia's Place does have some new makeup releases for the holidays and I just decided to go ahead and pick up both of them. This one right here is the Nubian Glow set. Got the whole thing with the lips and everything. Um, this one here is the Nubian Royal. And in this video, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and do two looks using each palette. So wait, let me just show y'all what the palette looks like. So this is what the Nubian Glow is looking like. This is what the inside of the palette is looking like. I'm loving this color story. Very, very pretty. Definitely excited to use this one. This is what the packaging of the lip balms looking like. This one is mango and this is guava. And this is what that package looks like. This is mango right here. And to give you a little quick look of what this color is looking like as a swatch. Not much, it's just a sheer glossy look. I'm not gonna even swatch the other one because I don't even think y'all can see it actually, can y'all? I don't even see it on camera, but anyway. Okay. So that is a quick look of what the Nubian Glow Palette looks like. So since we have that one open, I'm gonna go ahead and do a look with that one. First of all, I already have my brows done, my face is already moisturized, and I do have my eyelids already primed with my paint pot laying low, and of course, the lips are already moisturized. I mean, we don't want the crusties. But anyway, let's just get into this first look using the Nubian Glow Palette. So the first color that I'm going in with is this dark, dark orange color. And this is a packing brush that I got from the crayon case. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to pack a lot of that color on just as much as I can. And then I'm going to go in and buff that out. The next color, of course, is this matte lighter orange peachy shade and I'm using a smaller blending brush this one is from Morphe the M506 brush and of course I'm just gonna go and um, pat that on because like I told y'all in a couple of other videos just in case you haven't watched those um, I don't use any setting powder on my primer so yeah and of course um, back in with that packing brush from the crayon case I did add more of that darker orange shade I wish they had names on this palette but yeah no names but that's okay <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna go and make it darker and go back in I will be going back and forth with both those colors so yeah I'm going in with my shimmer shade this is a pretty orange shimmer shade y'all and I always go in with a brush first a flat brush first and um this one is from morphe this is the m210 brush and i always go in with my fingers y'all the fingers make the shimmer shades pop way more so yeah i never i never skip using my fingers and of course the next shade is another pretty this is like a a shimmery yellow gold color that I really really like this is my favorite shade in the palette using the same brush and of course I'm gonna go in with my fingers and do the same thing I'll be going back and forth with both colors just to make sure I blend it in with that brush and of course with the uh, my fingers too y'all just be careful right here y'all the orangey shade the darker orangey shimmer shade is kind of chunky so just be careful when you're going in with that one because it does flakes off a little bit so yeah you don't want to get that in your eye so yeah I'm going back in with that pretty lighter shade and I'm using this brush that I got from um, wet and wild I just want to blend that color out just a little bit you know so it won't look like it's just a straight line so of course y'all back in with my crayon case and um yeah i went pack a little bit more of that darker orange on and i'm blending it in with that shimmer shade the orange color and i'm going back and forth back and forth until i get it blended just the way i like 
Okay y'all, so this is what I got going on right now. I think I'm satisfied with the way it looks. So right now I'm just gonna go put my foundation, concealer and everything else on. And we are gonna talk about the first palette, the glow palette, right when I get back. So see y'all in a few minutes or Okay y'all, and this is what I am looking like right now. I'm gonna put my wig on. The first one that I saw, I grabbed and stuck it on. So y'all, don't come for me about the wig y'all. I know she might not be quite right. But anyway, forget all that. Let's finish the eyes. So obviously I'm gonna take all the colors that I use at the top. Well, not all of them. Just these two matte colors right here. This one and this one. And this one will be first and this one is right under it. So yeah, I'm trying to stick to one palette. I would have loved if there was a dark shade in here, maybe a dark, dark brown. I don't need a dark black, but you know, a little darker so I can darken up the outer corners. But since we don't have it, I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna work with what we have in the palette. So I'm just stamping that in right here at the bottom. I'm not going all the way across because I'm just doing the exact same thing that I did at the top. And I'm using the same brush to add that second orange color right at the bottom. But I am going to drag the lighter color a little bit in the inner corner also. Okay y'all, so I did go in and I added my mascara and I was supposed to put some brown eyeliner on but I grabbed the black one and didn't realize it until I used it. But that's okay, it still look okay to me. So anyway y'all, let's get to the lips. So I do have this Juvia's Place lip liner. This one is in the color So Rare and I just damaged it but that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna use the, the mango, so let's do that. Oh, it smells so good. So this does not have any color to it. It's just a shine and it feels so good on my lips. I'm loving the way it's feeling. But I am going to use a little bit of the lip liner to give it a little bit of color. Okay, y'all. So this is the finished look. And I can honestly say I really, really do love this palette. The colors are very, very pigmented. Pigmented pigmented <laughs> okay and um of course that is what juvia's place is known for anyway so my only thing is like i said earlier if we had like maybe one darker brown in it we can use this whole palette and not have to dip into anything unless you you know just want to mix and match which we could and i probably will in another video i'm gonna mix the purples and the oranges we're gonna see how that's gonna come out but um as for the shades that i did use the um the sparkly orange one right here this one does have a whole bunch of um it's kind of thick and more of a gritty consistency so when you are using that one in my opinion in my advice just um be a little bit careful because you don't want some of it to drop in your eye you know you know what i'm saying you don't want that problem and i wear contact lens too so that'd be even worse for me but overall i'm loving the way this came out so yeah let's just jump into the next palette Okay, so I just wanted to give y'all a close-up of what the Nubian Royal is looking like. And I'm loving these colors, y'all. I need to get me some more purple clothes, lavender clothes, because this is too cute. I need to use this palette. So, um, yeah, the first lip balm that I'm showing y'all is called the Caramel. And I'm giving y'all a little swatch. It has a little tint to it, as y'all can see. Not too pigmented, but I think I'm going to like this one. I know that I like the berry, because I tried it on y'all. And it's very, very, very pretty. Smells so good, too. I'm definitely loving the way these are feeling yeah that's a little close-up of the difference a little purple hue and a little so caramel of course, hue. i've changed my clothes i have to match with the purple so i put a little lavender on so anyway y'all um let's jump into this palette with the darkest color first okay y'all so i was recording i don't know exactly why my camera decided not to record this but yeah this is what i did so far all i did was take that brush right here and just went in and packed this very very pigmented purple color on both of my eyes and that's it so let's go into the next color i think i'm gonna go in with this one right here
lit. With this brush right here, this is a Sigma brush, the E47, and I'm gonna buff out this color right here. Okay, so I am gonna clean off that brush and use it because I don't wanna dirty up all my brushes. And I'm gonna go in with the lightest purple lavenderish color in the pan, and I'm gonna buff out that second to darkest shade with that color. Okay, this brush that I'm using, again, this one is from Sigma, the E47, and I'm just blending out that color, the uh, lighter purple color with that. And of course, I gotta go back and forth, y'all, to make sure that these colors are blended well. I don't like lines, I'm pretty sure you don't either. So that's what I'm doing. And of course, this is the darkest shimmer shade in the palette. And I did take my brush like I did in the first um, eye look and use my fingers as well makes it pop y'all and this is my favorite one y'all this is the one that is a little bit chunky so definitely be careful when you are applying this one um i did use the emma 210 brush for this one too for morphe and of course my fingers and of course i did go back and forth back and forth just to make sure those two shimmer shades are blended well and this is another brush that i picked up this is from what is this from i don't even know what this is this is from lavish it's a tapered blending brush and i did want to go in and make sure that it was blended well it didn't do much of a job because as you can see i did go back in with my flat brush just to get it to blend out just a little bit better so yeah i will be going back and forth with that um, packing brush and my fingers just to make sure all these colors blend in well back and forth y'all the lines is just not my cup of tea so yeah <laughs> and of course back in with that small tapered brush not tapered but blending brush from sigma okay so this is what i have when it comes to the nubian royals and Yo, pigmentation is real so i'm gonna go ahead and fix my concealer and my foundation back and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this one too okay so i fixed my makeup y'all and we're gonna finish the eyes and of course we are gonna take the same colors that we put at the top at the bottom of our lash line this one first this one right under it and this one right under that one i am going to be using this brush right here of course only halfway right under that first color this one only halfway and of course the last one, but I'm gonna drag it all the way across. So this is what the makeup is looking like and I am definitely feeling it, but let me go ahead and pick one of these lippies. So of course, I think I'm gonna have to go with um, Berry. Berry to match this Berry eye. So see, we got a light sheen. I do like that. It smells so good. And I don't need a liner with this one, y'all. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave it like this. Okay, and this is what the look is looking like. And I think it came out really, really nice. I am a fan, y'all, of that palette as well. I used five of the shadows out of the six in that palette. And I, I really do like it. So um, I'm going to say the same thing for the Royals that I said for the Glow Palette. Um, just be careful with that one shade right here that I chose to use today this one right here it is chunky so when you are using that one definitely don't get it in your eye y'all but anyway i am gonna end this video please like subscribe and comment if y'all want more of these type of videos please let me know because i do a lot of wigs on my channel but i love makeup too so if you want more i'll go ahead and make room for more makeup too so anyway tell me what y'all think about both looks are you gonna get the palette are you going to get either one of the palettes? I think you should because, I mean, the quality is everything. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it like I said. And I will see y'all in my next video.